Special thanks to Dyson for sponsoring this video. Raven Elise TV. Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven. Welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be hopefully motivational for you guys. It's going to be my Sunday cleaning routine video, just basically showing you guys my entire process for cleaning the whole entire downstairs area of my home, which serves a lot of different purposes. We have the kitchen, the eating area, the playroom toy area, the homeschool area, the living room area, and my office area all in one space. So everything is all mixed together. There's a lot going on in here. And Sundays are usually the days when the mess is at its worst because we've had a full week of little messes being left here and there. And we've had a fun weekend of food and toys and activities and different things going on. So Sundays are usually my best days to go through and do a little bit more of a deep clean and just get my life back together for the coming week. I know to a lot of people, this mess might seem ridiculous and just craziness but do keep in mind that I do have a toddler she's almost three years old and she's very very good at making very very big messes I am a single busy working work from home mom and sometimes I just get behind with my cleaning I'm just gonna be honest with you guys I prioritize other things sometimes besides cleaning and it gets a little bit out of hand I do have a cleaning service that I hire to come and help me out here and there but honestly one of the biggest issues is just the fact that so much is going on in this one space and with all Zaya's toys and everything and everything that we're doing it just can get really messy really quickly it really only takes like one day for it to get like this so because a big part of the mess is Zaya's toys I do like to encourage her to pick up her own toys and I'm teaching her to clean up her own messes and clean after herself I've actually been teaching her that ever since she was really really little I just think it's a good lesson to learn responsibility to have even starting from a young age and we are actually learning some organizational categorizing skills as well because we have these different gray bins and toy boxes that organize her toys based on the type of item that it is so she's learning to categorize different items and keep her stuff organized and just learn to take care of her belongings as you can see Zaya does have quite a few toys and like I said it doesn't take long at all for her to dump everything out because she's just having the time of her life playing with everything all at once which on one hand makes me happy because she really does play with all of her toys it's not like they're just going to waste and just sitting there she really loves to play with everything and so that's how she ends up making such a big mess but I just always tell her if you're going to make the mess you're gonna have to clean the mess later once she's pretty much done picking up the main portion of her toys I will go and just start helping pick up some of the bigger things that are too heavy for her to lift etc etc and just picking up stuff off the floor moving things out the way because I am going to need to vacuum and mop the floor so I'm just kind of making sure the whole room is picked up and then of course I just go around the whole kitchen and living room and just pick up all the dishes and trash and extraneous objects and you know those moments when you're just like why is there a pair of scissors right here why is there mac and cheese on this pillow and just kind of handling those moments and putting things away moving stuff out the way taking stuff upstairs telling Zaya to take her blankets upstairs all that stuff and now it's time to get into one of the fun parts yes I said fun parts cleaning can be fun sometimes and you know you're a mom when you get excited about vacuums and stuff like that but Dice and sent over their brand new v11 torque drive cord free vacuum this thing is amazing I already had a Dyson vacuum that I loved it was awesome and this is the brand new version with brand new technology and upgraded features it's so cool just look at it it looks cool you feel cool when you're using this thing Dyson as you know is an amazing brand and this new v11 vacuum has a lot of cool upgraded technology one of them being the LCD screen which tells you everything you need to know going on with the vacuum it tells you your battery percentage it tells you how much time you have left to use use the vacuum before you need to charge it again it lets you know what mode you're on there are three different modes we have eco mode which is perfect for just everyday cleaning which saves battery life and then there's auto mode which also has a new feature called dynamic load sensing in which the vacuum can automatically tell when you're switching from carpet to hard floors and the vacuum will automatically adjust its suction power this feature is really cool because it also saves battery
battery power and increases your runtime since the vacuum is automatically lowering its power depending on what surface you're on. It's actually really cool. You can literally hear and feel the vacuum switching from a higher power to a lower power depending on what surface you're going over. And the third mode is boost mode for those tougher messes and this new V11 vacuum actually does have a new motor so it does have increased suction power for that boost mode. So this vacuum is powerful. It's got the high torque cleaner head. It's got the digital LCD display. It's got the dynamic load sensing. But one of the best things about this vacuum is just the simple fact that it is cordless. So you plug it in to charge it and then when it's fully charged you can take it all around your house without having to worry about dragging a cord around or plugging it in and out of different outlets in order to reach different areas. You can easily just take it all around your house, take it into your garage to use it in your car, lift it up for higher places, down low, underneath furniture. It's super super easy and convenient to use because of the fact that it's cordless and this vacuum also came with a bunch of extra attachments which are really really helpful and really come in handy for certain types of cleaning like how I'm using it to clean all the nooks and crannies in my couch. I can switch out the different attachments and really make sure I'm getting a deep clean. Like I said you can also use this in your car and so many places around your home. So yeah I really love this vacuum as you can see here it got so much dirt and dust just out of my couch. All of this is just from my couch which is kind of gross but that tells you that this vacuum works really well. So if you guys want to check it out you can visit Dyson.com for more info. So yeah guys don't forget to clean and vacuum your furniture. You'd be surprised how dirty those things get but now it's all clean so I'm just putting the blankets and the pillows back on there and now I'm going to get my vacuum again and vacuum the floors because of course that is one of the main things that always needs to be cleaned in my house. There's so many crumbs and stuff everywhere but like I said the Dyson vacuum works really well switching from my rug to the hard floor. I also like the fact that it's super easy to get underneath my furniture because the vacuum is pretty small and it has a nice swivel on it to where it's really easy to get down low and get underneath the furniture so I always make sure to go under the couch and under the coffee table and everything and I'm just vacuuming up my rug. My poor rug Betsy has been through a lot so she has some rips and some stains and some wrinkles but she's holding it through. We're definitely gonna have to replace her in the new house but for now just vacuuming making sure I get all the crumbs up. And I will go back later and mop up the floors for the more like sticky messes. But first, I just want to make sure I get all these crumbs up and there is so much of it. Like it feels like it never ends. But I kind of like vacuuming. It's low-key kind of fun. I would say vacuuming is probably like my favorite chore out of everything. Next, I'm just picking up some additional trash that was around the kitchen and taking the trash out. I'm also going to go over to my desk area, pick up some trash that I had over there, and then just move on to tidying up my desk area. This one little built-in desk is basically my entire office, so it tends to get really cluttered really fast. That's another thing that I'm looking forward to in the new house is having a full office, but I just like to take like a disinfectant wipe and wipe off my keyboard and take some glass cleaner and wipe off my computer screen and everything and just kind of wipe everything down. I spend a lot of time over here so I want to make sure that it's nice and clean and fresh you know. Continuing on with wiping everything down I'm going over to the kitchen table spraying that down and making sure I wipe that down really good and then I'm gonna go over to where Zaya's toys are in her little play kitchen and wipe all her stuff down. It gets kind of dusty and kind of sticky over here. You ever like look at your kids stuff and wonder like why is it sticky? Where did this come from? Yeah so I just make sure to wipe all her stuff down periodically. So I'm just using some more disinfectant wipes for that and then I'm gonna take my spray cleaner and I'm gonna go over to my coffee table which is also strangely sticky right now for some reason and I'm just wiping that off putting my little tray back on there and then also just kind of dusting off my little credenza and then going over to the homeschool station I'm just kind of tidying up Zaya does a pretty good job like I said earlier of putting away her own stuff but I just like to go back through and help her out a little bit make sure everything is organized and then wipe down everything as well including her whiteboard and the cubby shelf 
All right, now time to finish off the kitchen, which is my least favorite area to clean, but you know, it's gotta get done. So I'm just picking up all the extra clutter that's all over my countertops, putting everything back where it goes and just clearing it off so that I can get ready to spray it down and wipe off all my countertops and clean my stove. And of course, I like to light a candle. I should have done that earlier, but I like to light a candle when I'm cleaning just so it can help make the whole area smell fresh. But yeah, I'm just wiping off my countertop Pops. Another little random thing that I'm doing is just restocking my coffee cup things. Since I had a box laying there, I thought I should go ahead and take them out of the box and put them on their little holder. And now it's time to do the dishes. So first things first, I'm just gonna load the dishwasher. I know some people don't use their dishwasher at all, and I think that's crazy. My dishwasher is my best friend, so I'm loading it up fully, putting as much stuff in there, whatever can go in there is going in there and I'm gonna let the dishwasher do the work for me. I've never had an issue with the dishwasher not getting the dishes clean. I feel like it gets them way cleaner than what you would do if you were doing it by hand. My dishwasher has like a sanitizing mode where it like blasts all the bacteria off or something. I don't know, but I love my dishwasher. I love using it. So I'm definitely gonna fill it up and just let that run. And then just for like the pots and pans and the bigger stuff, I will of course just wash those by hand. After that, I'm just putting the chairs back and rearranging everything, putting everything back where it goes. I'm also gonna go back over to the kitchen now that the pots and pans have had a second to kind of dry a little bit. I'm just gonna make sure that I put those away just so that they're not sitting out on the counter. And then I am done. My whole entire downstairs, including the kitchen, the living room, the office, the playroom, the homeschool area, all these different sections of my downstairs are now fully clean and wiped down and vacuumed and dusted and everything and it feels so good to have a clean house again so yeah you guys this is basically my sunday afternoon cleaning routine like i said to get my life back together in preparation for the coming week hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it gave you some sort of inspiration or motivation to get up and clean your house if you've been meaning to do that again special thanks to dyson for sponsoring this video don't forget to visit dyson.com to check them out give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys in my next video bye